<laughs> work it out. Is that us, Sean? We well, that's not lit. Our lamp's not lit, Sean. Our lamp. But we light our lamp in a moment or two. How are you? How are you? You're welcome. Thank you, Ron. Claire from Elysium, Claire Connolly, you're most welcome indeed. It's a month, it's more, it's eight weeks since we saw you here. Uh, servant does the trick for us. Thank you, good and trusty <laughs> servant. Now, do it right and then be gone with you. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you. Claire, how are you? You're good. Elysium is there on the quay overlooking the canal. I suppose, you know, with water at your front door and the mountains of Newry behind you in the forest, that's a kind of good kind of when she kind of situation. Yes. Water is all good, isn't it? Oh, water, can you it's just flow. click that in. That'll click straight. Yeah, go straight in. That's it. Yeah, how's that? Yeah. Good. So, water important in all of this? Yes, it, it's a flow of life, isn't it? A flow of energy. So well, we're yeah. our, and our bodies are supposedly made up of 90% water, you know. Yes, so, th so they say, and it's, it's good. <laughs> but uh, we have here all kinds of things. The Buddha plays a part. Why is the Buddha important in, in what you do? It's what we do in the shop is sort of incorporating different it's a place for people to come who have different beliefs or different yeah. um, ways of life and who are searching for something maybe that's not run of the mill even yeah. in Newry in Ireland and I suppose we're a multicultural sort of mm. city now so and the Buddha, the Buddha is big enough to embrace everyone Absolutely, it's a message yeah. of peace isn't it yeah. a peace and well-being you know and a uh, very, very fine Buddha he is, <laughs> yeah. Hello there, Mr. Buddha. Hi, dang. Yes, I'm a fine man. Hi, yo. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, you, you, you also touch in the area of, uh, of also, is it the super, not the supernatural, but beyond that which we understand, because there are influences coming from across the cosmos that touch us and make us aware of possibilities for betterment. Yes, well, we would work a lot with, um, energy work maybe yeah. you know beyond the beyond the visual yeah so you can't necessarily see the work but yeah. you know you can tell energy works in all ways you know you you can tell if you walk into a room if if the atmosphere is good or bad or indifferent so mm -hmm. you carry that with you mm -hmm. and different therapies we do like reiki reflexology massage and that all help balance people because our minds be bombarded wow talk about it <laughs> i think about it every moment of the day shane as to you it's terrible it's a bang 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 yeah. it's all you never rest your mind even the business of trying to sleep at night mm -hmm. you don't particularly rest your mind no. I've, i have the world service of the bbc playing at the bedside <laughs> and there i am I'm taking in all of the news of the day, and the good thing of that, and all of the news of tomorrow, the good thing of that, it sends me in here, in good tune, okay. in full knowledge of everything that's happening in the world. But the downside of that, I'm wrecked in the morning unless I turn it off. You do need, do you keep your mobile phone on at the side of the bed? Answers the truth. I, I do, but that's yeah, for an yeah. alarm. She does, she does, <laughs> as an alarm. As an alarm. And yeah. what's the first thing, you know, when you race up in the morning, you, do you check your mobile phone? I switch the alarm off. Ah, <laughs> yeah, put yeah. it on snooze. <laughs> I, do you know something? I hate alarms. Yeah. My mo I always hit. I need to put it on on my mobile phone. But when it goes, it goes ding, 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 ding. I know, and I'm wakening a quarter of an hour before it comes on to say I cannot countenance this alarm going off. It will hurt my brain. I'm now wakening 15 minutes early, and I'm now going to turn it off. And that's what I do. You know. Very good. So the, the one of the things you use is is the business of uh, of the foot thing, the, the uh, reflexology. reflexology. Yes. And the foot I have. This is one I prepared earlier, and it was absolutely <laughs> pristine. From it was wa it, It's washed every day of life okay. in the morning and in the evening. Now you will find it is very clean. Right. And because you're not in a very good position there, Rowan. I'm all right. I've been in worse, Shane. I tell you. There you are. How's that? <laughs> Great. Can it come yeah. closer? Yeah, well, there are certain points in the Do foot where yeah. it represents the First of all, would you make body. an observation about the general magnificence of my foot? Oh, fabulous. Isn't it a lovely? Yeah. W women have Very told me. Very intelligent brain. Well, women have told me I have a lovely foot, okay. you know, and I'm thrilled with that. Women. When a woman tells me anything that's not, I'm going to put this up to balance it. Wow. Now, how is that? Mm, wow. Now, you can rest it there. 
Now, how's that? Isn't that That's better? That's wonderful. Now, yeah. how, what, what do you do that helps in the, all of this? You would press on, they're called reflex. Oh, yeah! oh my ear, that hurt. Oh, my God. <laughs> so here we go again. Now, go. Reflex points. Yeah. Ah, foot. there's something actually in there, funny enough, when yeah. you press that. Mm. I was sore. Yeah. I felt that. Well, you're supposed to. Ah, I'm <laughs> feeling that. It's like a pin going into that me. That is working. That would be, this. your big toe would represent your head. Wow. So if you think of everything that's in your head, you've got yeah. glands, pituitary glands, pineal glands, your brain. Yeah. All up in there. So all, all those wee things are working. So and how we need to give them a bit yeah. of a rest. So this no. just stimulates And them. what's that going to... Uh, now, I have a headache. Can you work on the headache from my foot? Yeah. Now, okay. Um, now, what do you do? First of all, you would try to relax the head. Yeah. And then you would work up and down the toe. You do note that the feet are clean, yes? Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 You okay there, Ron? Mm -hmm. I'm very relaxed. I'm uh, purposely relaxing. Well, that's the whole point of it. There's no point in coming for a therapy to relax yourself when you're just going to lie there and but rest I, your brain. So there's, if I come to you or someone comes to you as a client yeah. down to Elysium yeah. uh, and they lie down and present their toe, Yes. Uh, there's no point in doing it if your mind is still bombarding and doing cartwheels. Well, for a while it'll take... It'll take a person a while to settle in mm. to the room, to the to the environment and that. And, and to settle in with someone else, touching them. Because that can be a big issue for mm. some people. Mm. So, yes, you would allow them the time to relax. But the environment that we set in the centre is calm, peaceful, almost like a meditative state. So Sean, or, uh, Shane, would you bring me a, a glass of water, please? A small amount of water. Just a small amount, not a lot. Please bring it. If you, that's okay. So Sorry, I interrupted you there. No, you're grand. So it's now, if I take a pin here, uh, is there any other part of the world that the, the foot you work on? or What, well, what all does the foot do? Well, Thank you, Shane. Just it put it there. It mirrors your body. So really? Yes. So this foot will have your lung, your heart, your stomach, pancreas, You'll have your spleen, your digestive system, your intestines, your down around your pelvis. You have your spine. Yeah. Knees, hips, arms, shoulders, sinuses. So that represents your left side of your body and your right foot will represent okay. the right side of your body. I understand. You've done a great job. May I so sit up again now? Can. Now, just reach your hands out, please, if you would. Just put them out here. Just want to do this for you, right? Yeah. You reach out there and give your hands a wee wash. You see the kind I am. I think of everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm a real wee treasure. Sure your feet were Little clean anyway. More. They were, but still, you know. Sean, will we get a wee bit of cloth or something to help? Can we can we get a small cloth or something to dry? <laughs> uh, uh, that'll be good. Thank you. And now we continue with our exploration of the wonderment of your work. Okay. What is this? I ask. That is a Himalayan salt lamp. Now, what is this about? The salt, well that, that is salt rock, that is dug from the Himalayan mountains. Yes. Ah, there's salt on it. There's, it's uh, actual salt. Now I also have salt that you can eat, Himalayan pink yeah. salt that you can eat in the shop. Put um, my boot on again. All is that right? Good, yeah. Um, we also have bath cubes of yeah. salt. Um, is that like a bath bomb? Where you put it in and it goes... <laughs> no, it's no. more natural than that. It just, <laughs> just eases its way. It, you put it into the into the bathroom. The salt will mingle with the air. Wow. So you're breathing it in. So if you go back to There's a lot of the air in the bathroom you wouldn't want to particularly breathe in at times. When you light a candle and put some salt in the bath. Oh, you're, oh, sorry, you're in the bath at this stage. I get confused. <laughs> I see. Um, so salt is cl cleansing properties. Yeah. So the idea of the salt lamp is that it produces positive, the, it produces negative ions, yes, which balance out the positive ions that come off yeah. computer equipment. And a lot of that. Here we have, we have some cloth for you. Thank you. There you are. Isn't that nice? Absolutely. I am totally First a wee treasure. Service. I'm a treasure. I am absolutely well-known treasure. That's me. So, so that's the idea of the salt lamp. The salt lamp. It yeah. has a detoxifying effect. Yeah 
produces lovely atmosphere and it's nice even. There's yeah. no ergonomically, there's a nice feel yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. And it's so cold. Yeah, well that'll heat up now once the bulb heats up. It'll yeah, but it's lovely and cold, yeah. you know. The, th the thing I think on it is, uh, I would naturally in the bath, w do you know something, I never take a bath. Do you not? Isn't that funny? I might have had, I would have had 365, possibly by half of that again, say 500, say 500 showers in the last year. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had about five baths. People are more and more going to showers, aren't they? Yeah, and it's a, uh, it's probably a time thing, and yeah. it's not a land and But for me, for me, the shower is not a time thing. I have to. Oh look, it's not a time thing. The shower for me is part of my meditative process. Mm -hmm. When I'm standing on a, I'm just thinking about what I'm doing. I'm taking it easy and I'm enjoying the moment of the shower. Yes. But that, that is the equivalent to when I used to have a bath. I would lie down in the bath and uh, I would light candles around mm -hmm. my bath and have a bottle of uh, Dom Perignon oh, chilling at the side. Chilling? And some yeah, and some caviar. Okay. And I would just take that in the bath. And it was lovely altogether. But, you know, one of the things I discovered in my life, uh, that you, uh, Dom Perignon is fine in the bath, but the only way to eat a fresh mango is in the bath. <laughs> because it's so totally juicy and all over the place. Yeah. But anyway, here we're going a little bit further. What kind of folk are coming to you at Elysium? Anybody. The normal person on the street. You know, there's such a variety of, of clientele coming into yeah. the shop whether it's to buy salt lamps for people with asthma young yeah. children with breathing difficulties um, candles even for therapies crystals anything like that we have workshops yeah. as well wow we have meditation classes every week yeah we have yoga every week mm -hmm. um, and we will be having pilates etc starting up again in September so that is very good uh, for the spine yeah oh, wow, it's, it's, it's all brilliant. very good and it's it's suitable for everybody mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that's a nice uh, candles are important in in life because they they focus you, you on on the warmth and generosity of of one of the elemental forces that of fire but that looks a particularly good candle. Yes, the candles that we have in the shop are all organic. Yeah, so that's important. They're not paraben-based. Yeah. Paraben so you, yeah, because you know you're sitting in a house, you have candles going in your lounge, uh, or indeed in your boudoir. The candles are giving off fumes. Yeah. And I what are you breathing in? You know, well, you're breathing in paraffin. You know, it's petroleum, no, I suppose, based idea. in a lot of the candles. So that's natural, organic um, palm wax and yeah. scented with with natural flowers. How much is a candle like that? A large. Well, that's burnt down quite yeah. a bit now. A large candle is eight ninety nine. Now, how long would an eight ninety nine large candle last? They a film? are, as far as I can remember, now they're one hundred and fifty hours. Wow. And yeah. you need to tend the candle, don't you, as oh it yeah. as it as it burns, as it because burns, there's yeah. no point. But allowing the edges to be way up here and the candle to be way down here. Well, that's the beauty with those candles. I mean, that candle, it just... Oh, crumbles. crumbles. How lovely. It's yeah. not that very hard, hard wax, so you yeah. don't usually get, a, you know, a lot of the candle left. Yeah. 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 What I used to do uh, in my romantic life, I would have taken some of the soft wax of the candle and I would have massaged my lady's back with okay. the soft with the soft wax and then I would have put her in a bath of just gently warming olive oil okay. and it was lovely and then I threw her a towel and said sort yourself out now <laughs> 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 but it's a and then of course you can you can delve into the territory of the angels you and uh, there's a lady going to talk to me later in the program about I had a great laugh yesterday when I phoned that woman she's in your Marina. play Mar she's so funny. Marina was on this program once upon a time yeah. and she took the call yesterday and we started laughing and we didn't stop laughing for 10 minutes. I don't quite. Now these are the angel cards. Now if you take an angel card and we'll, we'll, we'll basically it, I think this is a psychological device and that's all right too. So you take your angel. I'm going to shuffle them first okay. and then we'll each take one okay. and then we'll tell the people what our angel card says. Basically the angel cards they're no bad thing because you're, get, you're not going to get any bad message out of this. No, and if angels do it for you, and they don't particularly do it for me, but if they do it, there's one wants to come out. 
And if they don't particularly do it for me, uh, that's not to say they won't do it for you. But we'll see what the cards tell us. Right, go. Right, here we go now. You got yours there. You want to go while I go? No, go ahead. Okay. Are you finding yourself having random, unexplained ideas and thoughts lately? Uh, these are angelic communications giving you guidance towards your intended path of contentment. Your angels are steering you through your instinct, your inner knowingness. So please take some time out to assimilate your thoughts. Listen to your inner voice and follow their loving guidance. You will be glad that you did. Take heed of the thoughts your angels will share and trust you'll be happier they're taking you there. Wa wa diddle dee diddle die do da diddle do diddle die diddle dum. Now what's yours telling you? Mine says welcoming new encounters. Each and every person who enters your life is totally unique. You are being counselled so that you should not let any past hurt or disillusionment cloud your judgment or interfere with your potential future relationships. Wow. You will instinctively know if someone is right to be part of your life, whether it's a partner or a friend. So please look for the good in everyone. Take each person at face value and just enjoy life, getting to know them. Whoa. Open your mind as your angels would do. Look for fresh eyes and a welcome the new. Okay, Shane, will you and I will go out and find this guy and <laughs> <laughs> cut his eyes out? <laughs> Shane is Shane is is, is Claire's partner. No, but it's it's a. Uh, you see, I, I think I'm a, uh, I'm a cantankerous old git at mm -hmm. my stage of life. I'm not particularly interested in seeing anybody else or in meeting anybody else or in cultivating or taking the time to get to know anybody else. So I'm not for angels and I don't think angels are for me. But, but that's fine because it's where the, we're my understanding of the angels come in, they're only a guidance and a helping yeah. system. Yeah. And whether you call it angels, energy life force it's some it's just something greater than our physical yeah. being I, uh, which is there to help and guide I, us i remember doing a nationwide program with uh, with a lady caroline cray we went up the the, the hill in belfast the the uh, uh, the, uh, the north of belfast up uh, uh, up there and we were going up and we were filming in the way up she'd written a book she was a survivor of cancer and we were coming back down again. We met these two women coming up, and her book was under my arm. And the two women stopped and greeted us. And it turned out that one of the ladies, they were sisters, mm -hmm. one of the ladies, her daughter had been murdered in the most awful circumstances, and she was, she was in bits. And she said, what are you doing up here? I said, well, we're here. This is an angel book. And she started to cry and told us the story. I said, look, you take this book. And on the way back down that hill, Caroline and I stepped upon every step of the way a white feather. This is a true story. Caroline, if you're watching this morning, you know it's true. Every step of the way, white feather, white feather, white feather, white feather. And that woman kept in touch with her. And the book that Caroline had written and that I gave to her on that morning on the mountain made an awful difference to mm -hmm. her. It helped her a lot. But you see, I, 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 I'm tempted to regard all of this in very, very uh, angular terms and think, well, what value is this to me? What value is that to me? And what use is this? And why the Buddha... I'm getting a wrong handle on it because mm -hmm. I think people, their lives will improve in involving themselves in some, discipline's the wrong word, in some activity, expose themselves to some influence that will bring a gentleness into their lives. Yeah. And that's what Elysium does. Well, it, it, that's the idea of the center is that it's there for other people that maybe f sort of feel that they don't fit into any particular wee pocket um, that they can come in and they're, they're free to to believe or to, yeah. to feel what what's they right for yeah. them you know everything it's very individual and very personal and I, I don't think there's any right or wrong no you're but right you're absolutely right it's just right. finding what works for you yeah. and if it makes you Mm. a better person or, or makes your mm. life any better in any way then the smell of the it, incense yeah. stick beautiful mm -hmm. a lovely candle that's not poisoning me as I exactly. as I burn it you yeah. know and then I have my this is my own this is my intergalactic magnetronic stargate busting <laughs> compass gyroscopic compass and you see if you look look at that if you look there you can't really see it there but there you see ten worlds. Oh, you, must, you. you must come. Have a look. 
and you'll see you must bring it to your eye you know, bring it close to your eye and look at the light now really close and move yeah. it you see the worlds yeah yeah I do and that's when I look at that you world go and visit some of them. I do especially after the beginning of the second bottle of Rioja <laughs> but, there, there, um, but what I see there now look and I see the outer ring of Saturn and its moons there and I see who is that I see fellow with a banjo they'll be coming round the mountain when they come no I, I enjoy this this gives me great great solace this little thing and I take this every Christmas time Santa contacts me and he asks for help this is true okay. and I, I I said to him Santa I will help you if you help me and what he says is Rowan I'm very very busy at the beginning of it you could be an assistant and if you would go into the keys at Christmas time and start the thing rolling for me and tell your story about Christmas uh, I said okay Santa what are you gonna do for me and he said I'll give you money for your schools in Africa very and good. for the last 12 years we have done this and I introduced the boys and girls to the world's hidden in the gyroscopic interconnecting with universe's compass and we have been given 500 pounds by Santa every year for the last 12 years excellent Isn't that wonderful and that's Absolutely. in our schools yeah. talking of schools and things like that I desperately miss your uncle Gerard mm -hmm. yeah. he's gone I've, this lady's uncle is Gerard Fern father Gerard Fern the great Dominican who died just close on a year ago now I suppose yeah. it's heading in that direction October last yeah, year, yeah it's 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 uh, uh, we missed one of the things that he did I always remember he was on my program we were sitting shooting the breeze about life and I, I had read and I didn't realize he heard me say it I had read a, a letter that I had written uh, to God it was the time of the Haitian er uh, earthquake okay. and I was saying okay God where were you for the woman in Haiti who said that everything will be all right God loves us where were you God why were you not answering the phone to the people of Haiti who were perishing where were you God uh, when you were you on holidays were you asleep and whatever so basically it was a letter giving out to God so that was the end of it he, he didn't say anything but a week uh, in those days I would have gone to communion in the Dominican and I went and Jared was there giving out communion and I went and he said body of Christ and he said don't you go away I need to talk to you mm. well I, I said oh man okay Jared and away <laughs> I went back down again so we got talk he said that letter you wrote to God would you come in next Sunday and read it at the mm -hmm. masses and we did and that summed him up you know a challenge to God yeah and he's having great crack now with God in heaven if there is a heaven he's up there and uh, he, it's uh, I miss him a lot he's a good man mm -hmm. oh he is I I meet a lot of people on the street and yeah. even coming into the shop who would say mm. they miss no. him, you know well we do we do but Joe's over there now Joe uh, Joe Ralph a good Dundalk man doing a good job yeah but a different caliber so where do people find you? Let people know where they can come and experience this. They we can come in and smell it and try it and look at it. <laughs> yeah. They can, absolutely, yeah. We get a lot of people just coming in yeah. because of the smell outside, the incense oh, yeah. burning. We are on Merchant's Quay. We're situated Up grounded. Be between the canal court and grounded. Ah, yeah. So we're just You're in, there. In, in the middle there, yeah. Well, look, I'd like to thank you for coming. Sean, I think you have uh, Beth Nielsen Chapman for me, have you, or something like that? She's a, he's a nice bit of music for me. Okay. I think he's chosen very, very wisely. Wasn't she interesting? Great things. And always keep... My old mom used to say, always keep your underwear clean because if you have an accident and are brought to the hospital, where are you going to be? So similarly, when it comes to uh, this reflexology, always keep your socks clean and your feet washed because <laughs> you never know when you need the first aid. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ron. Go well. All the best, Elysium. Take Thank care. You. Sean the music please.